my Harbor Freight and Home Depot smaller haul. Um, so Harbor Freight, you know, you gotta love and you gotta hate Harbor Freight. I may actually do a whole series, and I know a lot of people have done series on Harbor Freight stuff, but there are definitely, definitely, definitely things you don't want to buy at Harbor Freight. Um, but there are some stuff that are just perfectly fine to buy at Harbor Freight, especially when you're talking disposable stuff that you may not know if you want to use, not know if you can use, um, but, uh, and stuff like dust mask. I mean, you know. Um, so anyway, uh, Home Depot, I went by there. Obviously, this used to be a three-pack, but it's always good. This was five bucks um, for three, so I use those in the truck. Uh, I've mentioned them before. I'm somewhat of a germaphobe in some ways, so I kind of need that. I have replaced my number screw, my number screw two driver, my number screw two driver. Um, because I lost my other one. I've actually already used it. You can see I've got some got some stuff going on on the tip already. Used it all day yesterday. Um, and this thing, Defiant Light. Ah! Oh my God. Hold on. That really lights up the area, huh? So presumably I can use this on job sites, set it up. It's got little feet that you can angle. So, huh, might come in handy on some of those jobs, keep me from having to hold my flashlight. And uh, yeah, you can do it any which way. Got rubber bumper so you can drop it. It was 13 bucks. Defiant, even Defiant batteries. Uh, so yeah, Defiant makes more than locks, guys. Um, so we'll see how that comes in handy for 13 bucks. Uh, if I don't have to hold my flashlight in my mouth for something, then uh, it works for me. So on to our Harbor Freight Hall. Hey, Rune, look what I got. I got eyeglass protectors that go over my glasses since I've been wearing glasses more now. Yes, yes. Gotta have those, gotta start protecting my eyeballs even with my other glasses on. Uh, respirator dust mask, this, I've just started setting up a protection kit, uh, which has my hard hat, my safety vest, uh, booties to put over my feet, respirator mask, and uh, um, other stuff, rubber gloves, regular gloves, you know, all sorts of stuff that you need. Uh, especially when you're going on job sites where you are required to wear a dust mask, hard hat, um, safety vest, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's just uh, and spared. You know, this will go on one toolbox. This will go on another. Uh, so, anyway, can't beat the price on those. They're like two bucks each. Um, I was going to buy, I had a coupon for the, right now I have said never, ever, ever buy drill bits. Especially small drill bits. We remember back a few months ago, I drilled through my thumb because the bit broke and the half bit broken bit that was still rotating jabbed straight through my thumb. I still have a weird feeling right there, but obviously it's all held up. But if I push right there, it hurts. So never ever buy regular cheapy, you know, one eighth inch stuff like that. Ever, ever. Don't, just don't do it. Don't do it. But these things come in handy and i was going to get the step ones because i had a coupon but these were actually a dollar cheaper and while i've got stepped ones in the truck i don't have any unstepped ones now going back to my trilogy video the other day you saw me trying to fix those the two through bolt holes it's very very common when you're switching out hardware to find off center through bolt holes or where they're like eighth of an inch off so in very or too close to the edge of the a two and an eighth inch hole so invariably you have to redrill those holes and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I usually use step bits for that, but sometimes depending on how it is, I don't really like having to go through the notches of it. There is a step bit that's got further steps. There's like thin steps and then thicker steps. And one of my bits has the thicker steps, but I saw these and I was like, you know, that probably would work a lot better for that 
kind of like a countersink. I could countersink into the wood and then come back with a spade bit or something else so that the bit doesn't walk when I'm trying to do it. So I went ahead and got the stepless kind. Again, cheap, but I'm not really using these to put a lot of pressure. If you're getting a bit to use for metal to put a lot of pressure on, uh, don't buy the bits, please. Um, uh, these are fairly good. I normally don't like Harbor Freight plastic bins and stuff, but these are fairly well made. I've started make, building a, a stainless kit out of these, and I'm up. This will make my fifth one. I think I've got four in use, two, three or four in use right now. But what I do on these is I figure out my layout, how I want to do it. Um, you know what screws need to go where if i need to remove them i will remove it and have bigger chambers but if i want it to be permanently i take glue like a plastic adhesive coat this run and coat the edges run it down the side that way if you have small screws in one of the chambers hopefully they it won't lift up enough for the small screws to to go like you have number four by half inch here and number four by three quarter inch this may lift up enough for those little bitty screws to go back and forth it drives me crazy so i glue down the ones with a like a plastic adhesive type deal takes a little bit of time but i've used these and like i said i'm not i'm pretty timid on buying plastic things but these little plastic containers they have medium small and large um not bad however i might mention uh i've got a new color they started carrying pelican type cases that are a, I call it apache and they're really cheap right now because i guess they just came out with them so i really eyeballed a 30 dollar one for what is normally the pelican case uh 1200 i think it's normally like 60 dollars ah uh, I love plastic boxes. I love tool bags, but I I, I, I didn't buy it then because I bought all this other crap. So this was like $4 with like all my discounts and stuff. And I'm pretty leery of that. Pretty leery that it's not really going to be useful. I mean, you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart here and we're going to check out this flexible... I hate blister packs. All right. So let's see how bright these are. I can guarantee they're probably not going to be what I was hoping for. Ah. But it may come in handy. Very cheaply threaded there. Seems like that would would uh, not hold up for very long. Uh, okay. I mean, pretty smooth beam. Not bad, does it turn off? Okay. Oh, clicky, clicky tailpiece. And you know, that might, it come in handy if you're trying to see in something it looks like uh it's like quarter inch get in a quarter inch hole not bad not bad for what did i pay five or six bucks for it all right this little fella was already loose and this one i want to see i'm going to go ahead and take it apart now oh no we don't want to take that apart <laughs> Don't take that end apart, guys. That's what's connecting it together. So I'm probably gonna thread lock that end. But I wanna see what kind of batteries. It just says button cell. So when you talk about button cell batteries for these things, sometimes the batteries can be outrageously priced. And it is a LR44. I'm gonna have to see how much these things are on in bulk. Because that is really anything button cell. You know, I carry my stream light, uses AAA. I carry uh, AA. I have a battery video coming up. Um, it looks like you could run a little string through there, but let's see how. Oh. 
Now that's bigger around. That's more like five sixteenths. But smooth beam. You could like hook it over your ear. Hold on. What's up, bro? So let's uh turn it off. Really hinges on how long the batteries last, I guess. It says three buttons, uh, three of those batteries, LR44, I gotta remember that. Uh, coal burning will last up to, oh, well, that's the light. Yeah, well, we know LEDs last a long time. Uh, does not show our run time, so uh, I'm gonna check that out. Um, keeping these in toolboxes, that looks like it would be pretty easy to press. No, it's not too easy. Um, okay, so that our stepless drill bits. Let's go ahead and cut. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Back. Suck. I'm unboxing this because I have to unbox it anyway. So again, guys, you know, like I said, I might do a Harbor Freight video, even though there's a lot of other people have done like what not to buy and what, what to buy, but I don't know if anybody's ever done a locksmith version of that. So if y'all are interested in, in that, maybe I can go to my Harbor Freight and ask them if I can film in there like early one morning. I don't know if they let you or not. I may just try to do it on the sly. So stepless drill bits. These definitely, if it could be used to chamfer, that may come in handy. Um, oh, back at uh, Home Depot, I did get some new uh, black electrical tape because I was running low. Um, okay, telescopic magnet. You kind of got to have one of these. I've got a couple laying around, but I wanted one that I could just bend. And then I noticed that this one has a little swivel. So I was like, oh, hey, that may come in handy. I may not need to bend it. So. Yeah, I dropped a spring down the interior panel of a door working on a toolbox the other day and uh, had to fish it out, interestingly. So this comes to our last. This was 25 bucks. Some power tools I don't buy, some I do. But this was with my coupon, $19.99. So a $20 tool. Going back to tools, I would definitely not buy. You know, like I said, I've noticed that Harbor Freight is kind of like doing all their tools. Compare this, compare this brand to the popular brand um, and their latest flyers. They're all about comparing their tools. So I would not buy a drill. I would not buy a hammer drill. I would not really buy. I have a drill press that I bought a long time ago. Uh, grinder, you know, grinder's okay. The grinder I bought is too powerful for what we need, so I'm gonna have to replace it, but I can always use it as a backup. Um, Cutout tools, trim router. Now the trim router from uh, Harbor Freight, I use a lot, and I've showed that uh, when I was trim routing something. And then aside from having to cut the uh, base plate in half, which you'd have to do on any of them, the only reason I've ever wanted a better router is for the maybe quiet, if it's quieter, because those trim routers have a huge high pitch squeal, especially that Harbor Freight one. But functionally, it works fine. I mean, it's accurate. I've never had an issue routing anything with it. Knock on wood over there. Um, so yes, this incredibly dangerous ha <laughs> tool incredibly dangerous basically what this is is a big ass dremel cutoff wheel and the bigger it is the bigger the shards are going to be so it's a good thing that i bought these glasses and i'm thinking about <laughs> i'm using going to use this i was going to buy a chop saw because the blade harbor freight while it seems like you could replace the blade, it's kind of impossible to do on my chop saw. I was gonna buy a chop saw, but then I was like, most of the time I need it over by my vise because I clamp up something in my vise, like when I'm making strike plates and stuff. Um, so this is gonna be put into test as that. However, 
again this is a highly dangerous tool and I can also use this to cut padlocks if I have to you know and I bought three blades because the blades don't come with it so add to my I've got about four or five cheapy things like that I bought a cutoff saw once or a cutoff thing I've, I've never used it I got the heat gun from there for shrinking tubing. I mean, the heat gun now you can buy for like $8, which is crazy. Why go buy a $30 heat gun when you can buy an $8 one? And if it breaks, then it breaks. I mean, whatever. Uh, but again, quality tools that need accuracy, like the lathes and stuff like that. I really want a lathe. I just don't have room for it um, in our shop unless I did a major remodel. I'd like to make the back room into a machinist shop, but yeah, no, long-term plans. Um, but anyway, tools that are need accuracy that, that you know, it's good to buy this. Like if I buy this and find it works well, perfectly well for some stuff, but I need it to be more accurate, that's when you go buy something else. You can keep this in one place and keep the other one. Like in my case, I would keep one in the truck, one in the shop, whichever needed to be there. So I wouldn't have to move it back and forth. So anyway, that is my haul from Harbor Freight today. I'm going to get the rest of it boxed up, thrown in my truck, clamp up this blade. Hope I don't injure myself. And I uh, hope you all have a great day. Take it easy and uh, tell me what your favorite stuff is from Harbor Freight. Oh, and if you're interested in me doing a... A locksmith specific i mean i've covered it in videos over my video you know history over the last year when i mention it when i bring it up i'm like don't buy this buy this buy this so kind of all together i've done one but i've never done like a a to z don't buy this if you're a locksmith so i'm thinking about doing a locksmith version of harbor freight so if you have an idea um of what not to buy like drill bits or anything electrical electrical cords uh -uh. no i've smoked good electrical cords uh extension cords uh no just too dangerous it, almost anything electrical of course this is electrical but like i'm talking about in the electrical aisle um it always pays to buy better stuff when that is concerned. Meters, like reading, no. I would never buy anything like that from Harbor Freight because I wouldn't trust it. If you have to trust your life to something or injuries, trust something against injuries, just go buy the, the better stuff. And trust me, that took a month and a half to heal and I'll probably live with a kind of a numb thumb for a while. I'm assuming it destroyed a few nerves right there. So, long story short, just... You know, let me know if you want me to do a Harbor Freight video. Uh, and I'll try to sneak in there one day with my GoPro. So, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And y'all have a good one. I'm going to go play with that thing. Wish me luck. <laughs> have a great day, guys. What you think? What you think? It's some kind of sexy, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That would hurt. If something hit, it like hits my glasses. Glasses suck. Just gotta say that. But anyway, hey, Rune, check it out. Ah, safety glasses. <laughs>
bet that's hot. You know, I think there are easier ways. I think there are easier ways to get past a master, huh? <laughs> I have my blade dead. Huh, not too bad. Okay.